How to find the surface area of a cone. I'm going to start off by writing the equation for the surface area of a cone, which is the area of the base plus the lateral surface area. OK, so let me explain that. The area of the base of a cone is going to be the bottom circle. So with the area of a circle, that one's pretty easy. Now, the lateral surface area means the surface area of the sides. So it's the surrounding part here of the cone. OK, so if I go ahead and write it out, the area of the base is pi r squared. That's the area of the bottom circle, touching, you could say, the floor or the ground right here. And then the equation for the lateral surface area is one that a lot of students forget. It is pi times the radius times the slant height. So the radius is the same as the radius for the base. And pi is our constant. Our slant height is this. It's the length from the base to the tip of the cone. And it's, this, it's always going to be slanted for a cone. Don't get it confused with the height. The height is perpendicular to the base. OK, so the slant height is here. Now we need to use this in order to calculate the surface area. It's very important. So I'll say it again. The surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi times radius times the slant height, the slanted length here. Now it's just a matter of substitution. So I get pi times 9 squared plus pi times 9 times 15. This gives me 81 pi plus 9 times 15. I'll go ahead and do on the side. This gives me 135. So I get 81 pi plus 135 pi. Now I'll go ahead and add them up on the side, 135 and 81, and I get 216. So my answer is 216 pi. I'm going to leave it in pi form because this question is telling me to do so. Now my units are in centimeters squared. Remember this is surface area, so since it's surface area, the units need to be squared. Okay. If your teacher wants you to multiply it out, generally you would just take this, 216, and you would multiply it by 3.14 to get the value in decimal form. But since this is asking for leaving it in pi, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that completes our problem.